we're going to be ranking one of the three certain things in life. Death. Let's get some criteria out of the way first, because I feel like that is a weird thing, so we're going to be ranking people's deaths. So, this is every death from BBC's ghosts of the main nine ghosts. The main nine ghosts being, here we go, Thomas, Pat, Julian, Fanny, Kitty, Mary, Robin, and Julian. There's one left. Captain. No, wait. Pat, Captain, Thomas, Julian, Robin, Humphrey, Kitty, Fanny, Mary. There we go. We're going to be ranking them based on how sad I think the deaths were. So that'll take a lot of things into consideration. Do I, how much do I like the character? What was their situation? How did they actually die? Who was around them when they died? All of these different things will come together to rank them from nine all the way to one. So coming in at bottom place is Julian. Now, Julian died of a heart attack during a sex scandal. So, already, heart attack, yeah, this, it's sad, but it was during a sex scandal, he was having an affair, so I'm, uh, I, he, we said this when we ranked the ghosts, he's a Tory MP, how easy is it to care about the death of a Tory MP, especially when they're fictional? Not, not very, compared to our number eight, who is Robin. Now, Robin is obviously the caveman of the, of the ghosts, and he was struck by lightning whilst trying to escape a bear climbing up a tree. Now, I feel like the death itself isn't that sad. Like, being struck by lightning is a very, very obscure way to die. Obviously chased by a bear. What I think makes this slightly sadder is how we see that affect him in his afterlife. When they get the big bear statue for Button House, Robin is terrified of it because obviously he died being chased by a bear, and then climb the tree, lightning kaput. So it, it's okay. He doesn't seem too affected by this, though, at any other point. There, there are ghosts that are more affected by their deaths. He doesn't seem to be that much. Uh, number seven is Kitty. Now, Kitty is one of the more recent ghosts uh, who we found out their, their way of death uh, in Series 5. Now, Kitty was killed, spoilers, obviously, for series 5 of Ghosts and 4, 3, 2, and 1. Kitty was killed by a spider that was on a pineapple that someone brought home from a travel and she was bitten by it and she died in bed from the spider bite. Now, I had a conversation with Parker while writing this video because uh, for all the Ghosts rankings and things, Parker is not... Parker is sort of more unbiased than me. I'm very... I'm very biased to the characters I just love. Um, but he, he was saying that this is a sadder death than I've put it, which obviously I've put it at seven. But I, it's sad, okay? Of course it is. And the whole thing of people thinking it was her sister, that would have been sadder. The fact that it was just a spider. And I know her sister apologised on, on Kitty's deathbed. But I, I it, it didn't... There was no personal attachment at the time, if that makes sense. Like, Kitty dying with the spider bite. It's not like anyone put that spider bite there and went, yeah, have this. And we didn't really know that much of Kitty when she died. I, I don't know. I, and maybe it's because we found out more recently. Aye. And maybe it's because we found out more recently how she died. I haven't had the time to reflect on the death and figure out what do I think of it. Number six is Fanny, who was pushed out a window by her husband when Fanny found out that her husband was gay. Now, this is, I think, the reason I've put this at six instead of seven, because honestly, Fanny and Kitty were kind of the two that I was, I was, but I didn't know whether to swap them or keep them where they are. And honestly, if you ask me in a couple of weeks, maybe Kitty would be higher than Fanny. I don't know. But I think the whole thing of finding out your husband is gay and then he's like, oh, that's, we've got an issue, let's just push her out the window. And then having to live in the house that that had, like, it's, it seems different to the ones we've had so far because they would have been... Because they all sort of happened by natural causes up to this point, the heart attack. Uh, was, I think, stress-induced, maybe? Uh, obviously struck by lightning, killed by a spider. These are all natural things that couldn't be stopped. Pushed out, your, pushed out a window was not an accident, and not only that, 
but by her own husband. It's it's the first one where there seemed to be a sort of personal connection related to the death. And speaking of, let's move on to number five, which is Thomas. Now, I feel like this might be a bit controversial. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone rank the deaths before. But, oh, God, I just kicked something. Thomas died in a duel over Lady Elizabeth, but not actually Lady Elizabeth, because I think someone said something, if I can remember rightly, someone said something about Mary Shelley, and Thomas thought they were talking about Lady Elizabeth, and then it, we got into a duel. This is, again, we've got the personal connection. He was literally shot by... I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. And obviously we see... This would be less sad if, we, if, we, if what had happened is what we saw in his flashbacks of him getting like a kiss just before he died and all of that sort of stuff. But he died alone by a tree after being shot in a duel. Unfairly as well, may we add. It was like a little three, two, bang. It was it was like that scene in, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You know, when like Snape and, and, and uh, is it Grip, what's his name? Lockhart are fighting and they go, and you're like, one, two, Expelliarmus, that bit. It's like that sort of number. Unfair duel. So it. All in all, it's sad. It's look. It's, it's in the top five. I'm sorry. I feel like I can get a lot of angry comments about this. And saying that, before we move on, please do let me know your ranking of the saddest ghost deaths in the comments below. I'm I'm loving all the interaction we're getting at the moment on this channel having some lovely conversations in the comments about horror histories and ghosts and just other video ideas. I am loving it. Thank you so much for the support, the likes, the comments, the shares, whatever you're doing. Thank you very much. Anyway, number four, and this hurts me putting it this low, is Pat. Now, Pat was shot in the neck on scout camp by a scout. This is kind of made more sad. There's no personal connection here, obviously. The child did not mean to kill Pat. It, it's more when we see in the Christmas special the flashback to him being a dad and a bit of a family man that you get that emotional connection, which is why it's not high, high up. But I think that definitely makes it more emotional when you see how nice he was as a family man. And obviously, his affair. That's one of my favourite scenes, by the way, from Ghost Series 5, is when um, Julian's going, I'm sorry, I slept with your wife. And then back to, oh... Right. Thank you. Net. That's really comedic. Uh, but yeah, obviously there's that. It, it's not the death that's sad here, but it's more the scenario that surrounds it, I guess, that makes it sad. Right, top three. Here we go. You know who's left. You probably know who's left. Number three is Humphrey. So Humphrey was beheaded whilst trying to protect Sophie from the Queen's guards. Now, everything about this death Everything about this death is heartbreaking. It's honestly that watching that scene was so heartbreaking to watch. Humphrey's such a nice he came across as such a nice guy and he was just trying to he did everything to protect Sophie and then he got beheaded. And the weird thing about this one is it's kind of natural like it's not natural causes, but no one popped the like no one cut his head off. He was stood in the fireplace. Something knocked and the sword, and there he is beheaded. It's, it's the fact that he was trying to protect Sophie. He was doing anything. He was trying. He was nervous. He was scared. He still went to that last moment until he got beheaded. It's so emotional. And as I've spoken myself through this, I kind of think two and three should be swapped. But I've written it, so it's going in. Number two is Mary, who was burnt at the stake during the witch trials. Now, again... The death itself is obviously awful. The, the things that actually happened, the witch trials, awful, obviously. It's more of the afterlife effect that makes this so heartbreaking. Seeing Mary so scared of any mention of fire or burning or anything like that, and Mary is, is distraught. And I think that's what makes this so sad. But again, I don't think I can justify that as well as Humphrey. So despite what it says on my script, I'm gonna do uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. Despite what it says here in my script, uh, we're gonna swap that, and we're gonna say Humphrey second and Mary is third. Now you know who number one is. I don't think this is much of a surprise. It feels cl cliche to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Number one is Captain 
obviously. The last death we found out about was Captain. There was so much debate over how Captain died. And we're going to go into it in a later video. We're going to go into whether Captain's death worked or not, because there's a massive debate there. So we will do that. Look out for that. So I don't want to go into that too much. What I will say is that the way he did die, which was obviously he died of a heart attack, he went in looking for havers into Button House where they were having this sort of soldier, like, do, where they were like, everyone who served, well done, we won the war, we were amazing, well done, everyone. The captain didn't serve on the front line. He breaks into Button House, finds someone's badges, puts them on upside down, and then sneaks his way through, and he gets sort of approached by someone who's going, where are you? Why are you here? You didn't serve in the front line. What are you playing at? He it causes so much stress and anxiety in the captain that he has a heart attack and dies. But he finally gets his moment with Havers, and it's very uh, Tenth Doctor and Rose, that I love you, that whole thing. They don't say it, but they both know. It's very cute. Havers gives Captain his, like, baton, so we know now that that's why Captain is so, just loves this battle, because it is Havers, everything about it, it's just beautiful, heart aching, heart breaking, don't go breaking, my bloody fly, sorry there was a fly, everything about it is so deeply emotional, and that's why it's, first I feel like that's not groundbreaking stuff, he's still here, you know, the bloody little bugger, caught him, Hey, what a loser. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my ranking of the ghosts. And here is my definitive ghost death ranking. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe. We are, well, we, let's have a check. Again, I've been saying this for the past couple months. I wanted to get to 5,000 by the end of this year. That was my target from last year. Ambition is a word. Stupid naivety is another. We are on 1,986 subscribers. I know we can get to 2,000 by the end of this year. I, we are not getting 5,000 unless a miracle happens. We can definitely get 2,000. Can we get two and a half? Probably not, but we can try. So please do subscribe. If you know anyone who's obsessed with ghosts and loves horrible histories, share this with them, please. Go, oh, you love ghosts? Then Fraser Oliver is a champ. Please uh, like it. Comment down below your ranking. Again, any suggestions for videos, please do let me know and I will get on it. This video was spawned from a comment that was talking about the death. I was like, oh, I should rank them. So, yeah, any, any and all interaction you give to the channel is so greatly appreciated. And one more thing. What this? As this video goes up, it is the 25th of November, which means we are exactly a month away from Christmas. You see where this is going. In the next coming days, get ready for Christmas videos. That's right, we're going to be doing at least one Christmas video a week, and we've got some absolute bangers coming up. We've got song covers returning, we've got ghost-themed Christmas videos, we've got Santa-themed Christmas videos, we've got song-themed Christmas videos. Just get ready for Christmas videos. Thank you, goodbye.